Good evening, sir. Can you tell me your first and last name with the spelling, please? Of course. It's Chris Willison. First is C-H-R-I-S. Last is W-I-L-L-I-S-O-N. Sergeant, where are we and what is occurring here so, this afternoon? Uh, we're in the county of Riverside, uh, in the city, the city of Wildemar, uh, right off of Clinton Keith and Smith Ranch Road. Uh, at this time, uh, in my backdrop, we do have Clinton Keith Road uh, blocked off as a precaution for any motorists or, or pedestrians in the immediate area. And the reason that's blocked off is, is for public safety concerns. I am happy to report that everyone in the affected area in the immediate uh, vicinity of this isolated incident uh, has either been evacuated or notified, so there is currently no threat to public safety. I can dispel the rumors that this is a active shooter type incident. It is not an active shooter. Uh, we do have an adult male subject uh, isolated in his residence uh, just north of Clinton Keith Road at Smith Ranch. Uh, we do have specialized teams on scene uh, that are actively working this incident, uh, conducting a thorough investigation and uh, hoping for a, a very peaceful resolution here in the near future. I would like to thank everyone for their patience uh, as people coming home from schools, people coming home from work, out there during the holiday season doing their Christmas shopping and all those other, other people out there do want to at least provide some updates. It is a fluid uh, and very we are in our infancy stages of the investigation. However, we are working for a peaceful resolution uh, at this very minute, and we'll have some more information as this thing progresses. But you, go ahead. Sorry, you had mentioned that this is not an active shooter situation. So the reports on social media that this guy was firing rounds at the officers from his balcony are just that rumor. Th that is correct. I, I can I can confirm. Uh, that we have isolated a, an adult male subject in a residence. Uh, there are no other occupants inside there, no victims uh, to report, and no injuries to any law enforcement officers. So the, we can confirm it is not an active shooter type incident. We do have shots that were initially fired. The call for service on our end was a negligent discharge of a firearm. We have made contact with that person and we are actively working on a peaceful resolution to overcome this incident. Do you, one last question, do you have any kind of time frame on when this situation may be resolved? Uh, you know, the, the call for service came out a little bit after 11 a.m. this morning. And one of these type of incidents where we're dealing with someone uh, who was armed at one point in time, the potential for still being armed at this time as law enforcement personnel are actively working this investigation, trying to speak to this subject uh, and figure out what exactly is going on and why he's doing the actions that have already transpired earlier today. Um, that's, that's our goal. As far as an actual time frame, again, it's, it's very fluid. Some of these things can be wrapped up very, very rapidly while others could take hours. I know it's a huge inconvenience and burden to the community here. And I do want to thank everyone for their patience as we overcome this incident. And we will be, be putting out updates uh, as appropriate as things progress in this in investigation. Perfect. Is there any way or is there a site or anything that the public can follow for immediate updates? There is. We, we initially put out a, an initial alert to all the affected residents um, immediately when this thing was, was uh, received. Uh, we do that for twofold. One, to inform the, the public, and two, to, to keep uh, people coming towards this area out of it so that law enforcement can, can work this incident as fast as they can with the necessary resources uh, without, without having any additional um, public safety concerns uh, at the helm. Uh, as far as this particular incident, uh, we are actively working the scene. Um, we are hopeful that it will be resolved in a reasonable time frame, but as far as in actual time, um, as soon as those things become available. Uh, we do have Twitter accounts, it, uh, RSO's PIO West, which will be um, actively providing updates in addition to the Nixle, and we also have our main RSO Twitter uh, page as well. For anyone uh, who may live in the affected area or in the immediate area that wants, wants uh, updates as they occur as this incident unfolds.
Perfect. That's all I have for you, Sergeant. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.